Yeah. And yeah, hi everyone. Uh, I hope you're all well. And uh, this is the last community call of the year. Uh, usually, uh, in this community call, you know, we have some quizzes. We try to celebrate uh, what we have uh, done uh, in the past uh, year. You know, uh, see, you know, what are what. Um, what we need to work on, um, what are the areas that we need to work on. But uh, this is, um, well, I mean, uh, not the time to do that now uh, because we, our community has lost uh, a person that was very active in RDM, a professional that is uh, like, um, and it, it was an amazing person. And I don't feel like, uh, celebrating today so apologies for uh, you know um moving away away from this tradition and i would like to actually dedicate this community call to sarah jones uh, who was uh, an amazing person contributed so much to the research data management um community and to dmps in particular um uh yeah in inspiring uh what she has done and um I'm sure that many people who knew her look up to her and uh, still today. Um, but today, um, I would like uh, to concentrate on the um, things that we are working on, uh, which are things that you will uh, be expecting uh, next year. And maybe let's share my screen. Uh, probably you don't know we are Argos is involved in some in in a project in tier two project tier two is uh, a project that focuses on reproducibility. Hope you can see my slides, right? Do you see my slides? Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Um. So tier two is a project again focused on the reproducibility. So it focuses on understanding the different um, uh, areas uh, and domains and how reproducibility is uh, applied, you know, uh, in 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 them. Um, so it has a theoretical, let's say, uh, approach to understanding that um, reproducibility. And also uh, it focuses on building the tools or uh, adapting uh, workflows and tools and creating guidance uh, that supports uh, the increase of reproducibility in our practices. It focuses on um, different, has different target groups like um, uh, publishers, um, uh, researchers, uh, domain-specific experts, and so on. Opener and Argus, in particular, um, is has a pilot inside in the context of this uh, project, um, and the pilot is about uh, creating reproducibility management plans, and this is uh, part of our work there. And we follow, uh, as you can see here, a theoretical approach where we are um, we take the DMPs concept, the data management plans concept, as our basis to um, extend it first to uh, highlight the reproducibility uh, questions uh, that we or um, uh, content that we can find in DMPs, and then extend it. But also at the same time, uh, we are um, infusing like this um, this work with uh, feedback from uh, experts. And if you would like to contribute to this feedback, please let us know. It would be um, I mean we would like to uh, to have maybe uh, with Stefan with Stefania who is uh, uh, on this call today. We would like to uh, have a workshop. Uh, and if you would like to get involved, please let us know. We are going to uh, more, you know, um, um, to to focus more on um, finding the questions, the, the appropriate questions, uh, and the sections that this reproducibility management plan has. Um, and then we are going to uh, adapt this. Um, to a template, so we're going to create a template that uh, will be about reproducibility with tailored questions and guidance. And also where we can um, 
have this uh, reproducibility management plan um, tailored to the specific domain needs. And then there's a technical approach where we're going to onboard this template and this guidance that we have onto argos.openedit.eu. That means that we're going to configure some APIs and we're going to create some links with other uh, outputs and, and activities inside the template. And we are going to um, work with the, the RDA, within the RDA, to suggest, there is a data line, so I'm going to say RDA, to suggest um, how the metadata, uh, how the DMP common standard can um, be extended to support some of the reproducibility elements that we uh, have identified so that um, these plants at the end are interoperable with each other with, with, with each other and with different services. But first we are uh, tackling this issue. Uh, this is a timeline. this is something I just wanted I, I just kept it. Uh, because I wanted to show that we had already a first workshop during the Open Science Summit in Geneva uh, this July, uh, where we got uh, a first set of feedback from the community, from the international community. And what we have already from this um, uh, from this work is the configuration of a new API in Argos, the first sharing API. So um, the, the first sharing is a registry of uh, databases, um, standards, and policies for uh, fair data. So we have uh, extended our mechanism, the mechanism, the API mechanism that we used um, up until like uh, recently, to be able to support different protocols and different um, different um, a different providers, let's say, one of them being the first, the first sharing, uh, so that you can use it in the templates of Argos, and if you want, and um, have a, have a, create a, a reference to the specific policy or, that you're referring to when you describe your data in the DMP, uh, or to the standards that you want to um, include uh, when you are uh, detailing, uh, you know, data management activities in the DMP and so on. And th there is already um, an article about that. Uh, maybe Stefania uh, wants to share it uh, as I'm going through the presentation. Um, I don't know. These are the next steps, but I don't want to to continue with the next steps. Uh, I think that's what's coming. Um, and we would like to know your, um, we would like to get your feedback as well. If you are interested in reproducibility as we are, uh, because we're involved in this pilot, uh, please let us know uh, to include you uh, in this, uh, in, the, in the workshops that are coming next year. And of course, you understand that we are we will have more things to uh, share with you regarding this new concept of reproducibility management plan next year again. Um, another thing, um, well, maybe first let's yeah <laughs> let's um, maybe open it up uh, to discussion. Um, um, how how you feel that. Um, do you, do you, have, have, you, have you considered this concept before, for example, like having a plan uh, for your reproducibility practices? Uh, do you think this is something useful? We're going to do it anyway, but it's good to also have your, your thoughts on that. Um, this will at least drive uh, other things of our work. Anyone? No. Okay, then the next thing that I wanted to um, say is um, 
that we had uh, in two weeks ago, if I remember correctly, there was the Open Air Bootcamp um, where um, Argos had a workshop, a training workshop. And maybe since Jonathan is here, they could uh, say a few things of how they found this uh, training to, to be. Because we had um, a nice, uh, you know, hands-on experience of getting um, um, get, getting um, a project and then trying to navigate around uh, the different objectives of the project, the different deliverables of the project, to understand uh, which ones are um, fit to our data management uh, planning needs, then who we need to, to, you know, to contact in order to uh, sufficiently uh, create the DMP and so on. Um, yes, so basically there were two types of people, people that already were doing DMPs that found it really useful, and then people that for them, DMPs was more abstract. They had never done it or they were just, so we had a session about RDM and DMPs on, on the Wednesday and the Argo session was on the Thursday. So some of them had just discovered. And so it was quite difficult. They said it was quite a difficult uh, training, which makes sense. If they've never done a DMP, it makes sense. But those that had, uh, done or are familiar with the MPs found it quite useful to have a more hands-on uh, approach rather than just learning about it theoretically but um, trying it with um, a case study basically. Thank you, thank you Jonathan. Uh, yes, so uh, during the the bootcamp, we focused, you know, we, we tried to focus both at the um, practical uh, practicalities of uh, how you organize yourselves uh, in, in the DMP process, and then how you use Argos. So Argos had a less, let's say, prominent role because this is just a tool to use, right? Uh, but the focus was more on how I, I mean, I'm, I have this project. Uh, they tell me to create my DMP. What do I do? It, besides panicking, <laughs> if it's your first time. Um, thank you, Stefania, for sharing the news item in the chat for everyone who would like to uh, to to see and learn a few things. Maybe you want to to say a few things about that. Oh yes, no. I mean, you you presented this aspect of the fair sharing uh, last in in the last community call. So uh, I don't know if someone missed it. I I think it, it was a great great presentation. So I I, I invite you to go back and uh, and check. Um, and then yes, for the for the tier two, I'll just add. Uh, I'll just invite again uh, um, our community here. Uh, to to have a look and uh, and to share your ideas uh, and, and and your experience about uh, what how do you evaluate reproducibility in your field and and what does reproducibility mean for you so um what would you what would make it uh possible uh to to reproduce if if it's either um Oh, thank you. Yes, for the link to the website uh, to to reproduce uh, your uh, your work. Uh, what uh, what would make it what would make your your work more more transparent? So um, yes, tier two will uh, so the outputs will will uh, will be will build on on the community. So so we need um, input from from the community. Um. Yes, please, Teresa. Hi. Um, thank you. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I, I um, please like to ask. I'm 
not so familiar with the discussion about reputability, but um, we learned uh, um, from talking to researchers at our university that um, we have fields where reputability is not included in the design of research. In humanities, they have this field of qualitative research. Um, have you discussed um, this topic or did you focus on fields where reproducibility is obvious, such as life science, uh, uh, natural science, uh, uh, techniques, uh, uh, and those sorts of topics? Thank you. Thank you, Clarissa. This is actually a very good point. And uh, uh, our uh, expert working in this field uh, make sure to remind us all the time, but it's not only computational uh, reproducibility, it's also, you know, uh, qu qu uh, qualitative um, uh, reproducibility as well. And we are going to have the, at the end of this month, I think it's a deliverable. So look out for this deliverable bit because it's going to be, uh, you know, um, uh, a landscape, a huge landscape of uh, reproducibility in different domains, including what you just uh, mentioned. So I think you will find it useful. I'm not involved in this um, study in particular, but I know that uh, I'm waiting for it because I want to use it as an input for this template that we are going to have. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Joachim, hi. Nice to see you. Sorry, I was muted. Um, uh, good to see you again. Uh, I was just, maybe I misunderstood something, but are these reproducibility management plans uh, kind of separate document from the DMPs? Because uh, I find it already hard to get researchers <laughs> fill out a DMP. And if they, this will simply mean they will have yet another web form or something to fill out. Uh, I'm not sure uh, that will be an easy task to get them there. And I remember now that uh, I was participating in a discussion some years ago, I think it was at the TU Delft, about having software management plans separate too. And the same objection came up there. So I, I, think, it, I think it's good to handle reproducibility already from the start, but if possible, but it should then be part of a, a regular DMP and not uh, something that you do separately. So, so you could ask for what reproducibility measures uh, and then propose some possible, like pre-registered, uh, pre-registration uh, and things like that, that we know can enhance reproducibility. I, I think there was a, a recent study with uh, by Brian Nosek and others at, uh, uh, at COS or, uh, or OSF uh, that showed uh, they made a, an experiment with four uh, different universities par participating and they uh, managed to r raise the level of reproducibility considerably within psychology, which is a known field which had had uh, large problems with uh, with uh, reproducibility. So, so I think thing, definitely things can be done. Maybe not as easily within the humanities as Teresa indicated, but uh, there are things to be done. But they should be part of the normal data management plan process. I think. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you, Joachim. Uh, I, I like your. Um... Yes, I like your points. Um, for us to, to, to bring it to the project, uh, we are going to create this reproducibility management plan as a, an independent, let's say, entity, which, of course, you, you were present in the last community call. You saw that you can uh, embed uh, in the broader DMP. So um, we call it blueprint. So you can have in your blueprint data management um, sections, software management uh, sections, 
and uh, reproducibility management questions and I mean and something if if you want a, related to ethics if you want to, to you know your attention to be more on ethics so you can have all these things but um as you can as you can see um there are dependencies uh with all these different topics uh all these different thematic areas for example when we're talking about the data management plan software is uh considered as well um, for the links that the data had to have to the to the software, not how the software was you know created and so on, but just to provide a qualified reference, for example, to the software and so on. Um, but this is the minimum thing that is required in the context of a DMP. Then we go to the software management, the so-called software management plans, where uh, we want to know more about like the management, the actual management. Of, of the software where more questions um, irrelevant to, to a DMP are uh, included there. And this is our approach also for the reproducibility management plans. Of course, we see that the DMP already has some reproducibility uh, elements uh, there. Uh, we want to highlight them and also uh, extend um, based on our um, knowledge from the landscape and the um, input from the workshops that we have, um, what reproducibility means in different domains and how to ask, what questions to ask uh, if you want uh, inside your DMP, your software, whatever that might be. Does it answer, does this answer okay? <laughs> your question? Good. Thank you. Um, yes, so this is at least this is uh, one of the things that we are working on, and you, you um, should, um, I mean, if you want to look out for um, next year from us, uh, other things we have already mentioned uh, with different projects that we are involved in, so we are going to have, um, um, we, we will be inviting uh, organizations and representatives to speak uh, for like how they used Argos in their own environment. Uh, so you will see more use cases uh, of uh, the software being used in different environments. Uh, that's also something to expect next year. Um, uh, as well as, yes, uh, more, uh, you know, um, um, developments um, of new functionalities and whatever uh, we are currently working on to be finalized uh, next, uh, I mean, to be released next year. Uh, but what are, uh, what are your views? Like, what would you like to see uh, next year? Or what is um, one thing that you, want to change? Um, what are your thoughts? What do you expect? That's like, a, I'm not the Santa Claus, but <laughs> I, might, uh, I might be able to help. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, Teresa. Well, thank you. Um, we don't have much experience with Argos yet, but, but one point that seems to be very interesting is the use cases that you mentioned, um, how different organizations have tried to include Argos uh, into their own administration. So, uh, and yeah, what, how, how the different solutions look like and um, maybe also um, how fair these solutions are and what the potential for other uh, um, organizations is to learn from uh, um, them and to take over some parts without going the entire way on their own. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um thank you 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yes, for sure. Um, I I already said yeah. We 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 will um we will be sharing more of your of those things. Uh, we did this year, but only for two uh cases. So PSNC and in, in Poland and um. FCD in Portugal, uh, but we can, um, yeah, we can invite more people, that's for sure. Um, I don't know. Um, Again, I, I, I don't have uh, something else. Uh, it, it was supposed to be a quiz, but sorry. <laughs> Again, as I mentioned, it's it's. Um, I would like to pay this respect to the, the, this person that passed away. And uh, that's why I would like to have a discussion. Uh, for example, um, I see people that I, that I know uh, already, we, we've talked, um, in the past, um, it would be good to to know um, what do they expect. For example, if I can name some, Boyan, um, you're also involved in a project that is going to start and we have a pilot together uh, for Argos. Uh, we have already worked with Boyan uh, to localize uh, the Argos interface uh in um croatian and we're going to work on um connecting uh, the connecting with different national uh, services uh, but that starting from next year so boyan you can be one of our invited speakers next year <laughs> just <laughs> note that <laughs> from now <laughs> Um, okay, thanks. <laughs> um, but first we have to finish the implementation. Yeah, later next year. Yeah, uh, later next year. Let's say November <laughs> next yes. year. Actually, uh, Croatian Science Foundation, I had a meeting with Croatian Science Foundation and they were interested in uh, when will we... Uh, launch the Argos for their needs because they would like to use it. So the need is there, everything is prepared, so we just have to finish it and launch it. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you also for the update, Bojan. Um, so that was uh, the need from a funder. I don't know um, who uh, else... Um, has a request, for example, from an institution or uh, from uh, researchers themselves, individuals. Okay. Uh, yes, that is please. Well, thank you. Um, I think I. Um explained it before um we have some specific requirements uh, in sweden um because the universities are authorities and we would like to try to find a solution um to adapt argos to these specific requirements um if it comes to researchers we have a very long list of wishes um the best thing would be in some cases to have a data management tool that can talk to the researchers and say, okay, I understand your problems. Now you have to write this here and um, that there. Um, but um, at this point, we can't offer that. <laughs> so, um, yes. Um, I like um, your AI influence. You're, you're, you're influencing the DMP tools with AI <laughs> discussions. Yes. I like so, this. Um, so far, uh, we take care of the emergency receptions if it comes to data management plans and someone just sends a panic mail. I have to send in this application tonight. Please help me. 
Um, but uh, that is a different topic. Um, we uh, have seen so far that question-based templates are helpful. And working into that direction would certainly be worthwhile. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Yes, um, I I agree. I agree. It would be good if we had a magic, you know, stick where we can say, <laughs> let's now do this. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I like I like your um, your uh, realistic approach at the end, <laughs> uh, apart from the vision um, that you have. Thank you. Um, I think if, for me that's it. Uh, a lot of things um, are going to happen next year with the. A new project, the Open Science Trust project, that is focusing on DMPs. So I'm excited to, you know, start working on that also with the other colleagues and share with everyone here uh, the outcomes and see how we can, you know, help each other. Um, but if there is nothing else uh, for this community call which I didn't want to, uh, I, I wanted to have it, although uh, my colleague suggested that we can, you know, uh, we can postpone, we can um, have it next year. I want to have it just to wish you all Merry Christmas, have a, um, you know, happy um, time with your yeah. family. And yeah. Happy holidays. It's it's good Thank to be so part much. of it. Of, of this community. Thank See. you for being part of it. Thank you. Thank you, Thank everyone. You. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a nice Happy Christmas. Holidays. Merry Christmas. Bye. Have a Bye. Holiday. Bye.